is Miss Pitford's Academy for Young Ladies. And that's Ludwig, who drives our school bus. He's the only man at our school, and we all like him very much. This is Miss Pitford. She spends a great deal of time telling us how special the school is and how very special all we girls are. Well, I suppose there is one thing special about us, our fathers. You see, they help run the world. Oh, I don't mean that they're presidents or dictators or that stuff. My father's a diplomat, and all that means is that he and a lot of other diplomats get together and talk about world problems. Miss Pitford doesn't allow us to talk about world problems. She doesn't think it's diplomatic. These are my friends. They come from just about every place, even from behind the Iron Curtain. It doesn't make any difference to Miss Pitford. She treats us all alike. This is me. I'm Candace Hull, and today I'm the luckiest girl in the world. We're all going on a holiday, and I've won first prize in Latin. First prize means that I can drive the bus to the airport. Have a happy holiday, and remember your dignity. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> a wonderful day. We're all going home. Well, not home exactly, but to our embassies. I guess in a way, we're ambassadors too. She will kill us with her driving, comrade. But she won first prize, comrade. Latin is a dead language. I like her. A dead language is not worth dying for. It was a wonderful day, right up till now. It shouldn't have happened, but it did. I guess it's an omen. The start of all kinds of terrible things. see you, but you're not supposed to be in here, you know, out. Wally, don't you understand when a woman wants to be kissed? Uh, now, Candy, Candy, stop it. I've known you since you were a baby. But now I'm a woman. You're 16. I'm older than my age. Ow! Wally, I thought Master Spies was supposed to be forceful, sweep a woman right off her feet. Only when we're working. And don't call me a Master Spy. Phrases like that went out in 1918. Well, you're the best man on our team. That's what Daddy says. Yeah, that's what Daddy used to say. I was born too late. Too late for what? To have been with you. Behind the enemy lines in Korea, and in Vienna, and on the rooftops of Paris. Who told you all that? You did. Oh, well, uh, you were a little girl then. Little girls like to hear romantic things. You mean they didn't really happen? Well, of course they did. Oh, I knew they were true. I've always known. Oh, Wally, you're so brave and, and so... Candy. Oh, it's 
her, isn't it? Her who? That woman, the one you call Soldier. She's standing in our way. Candy, you know Soldier and I are engaged. Then why haven't you married? Well, because. Because, uh, well, things aren't that simple. You... Because you don't really love her, that's why. Oh, Wally, you could love me. No, no, Candy, don't, don't start again. Please, Candy, will you please? Candy? Wally. Candy? Well, I might have known you'd be in here. Daddy, I was coming to see you next. Oh, you look wonderful. Miss Pitford's must agree with you. Wally, I want to talk with you. In your office? No, I have to meet the French Trade Commissioner at his home. Ride in the car and we'll talk on the way. Darling, I'm very sorry. Daddy, you... I haven't seen you in weeks. I know, Candy, but we have very important business to discuss. Mm-hmm. I've been hearing that ever since I was a child. Now, I'm riding with you, too. All right, but in the front seat. Wally and I have confidential business. What's this about? Kaganescu. He'll be in London next week. He's here right now. Now? But my agent got things wrong. I saw him myself at the Russian embassy. What was he doing there? All his leanings are pro-West? Well, he's probably making a deal. His country's a little one. It might get strangled. Wally, you let him slip through your fingers. It was only by accident that I saw him. This isn't the first time you've slipped up. People are beginning to question your competence. What people? The ambassador for one, Washington for another, and even me. We're just not getting enough information from your department. Mike. Yes, sir? We're late now. Can you make better time? Yes, sir. You don't get to see much of your dad, do you? <laughs> no, not much. He works very hard. I guess. This is his whole life ever since my mother died. It's the trouble with us hey, should... today. The world's too small. By the time you find out something, it's already happened. Then you have to work faster. How fast can you work when the time between thinking about pushing the button and pushing it is only a tenth of a second? All I know is this. Once you were the best in the business, there wasn't anybody better. But now, all I can say is this. If you foul up this Kaganescu affair, you're going to be looking for another job. Mike, what does Daddy mean about Wally? It's none of your affair, Candy. You shouldn't have been listening. It means they're going to send him home. They can't do it. Darling, I'm sorry. I'll be late. Don't wait dinner for me. All right. Wally, see that she gets home, will you? Of course. And Wally? Yes? We'll work it out. Mike, I want to go back to the embassy, but first take Miss Hall to her home. Yes, sir. Aren't you glad I'm back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Something's wrong, isn't it? Wrong? There's nothing wrong. If there is, you can tell me. I mean, you know how I feel about you. Ever since I was a child. Everything's fine. It's not. I know it's not. I mean, well, your work. Espionage is dangerous. You can stop worrying. I'm not a spy. You're not? Nope. I'm a poker player. They bet, I call. We all sit around a table and bluff. It's only a game. <laughs> well, sometimes it seems awfully real. Not at all real. Just a game. Will I see you tonight? Sorry, I've got to work. I can't. Oh. Oh, Miss Candy, you're back. Hello, Mildred. Bye. Bye.
Glad you're still here. Get out the file on Kaganescu. Trouble? In the worst way. John Hull informs me that uh, Washington isn't too happy with my work lately. The dossier Kaganescu. Then. He hasn't made much news. He's going to. Businessman, pro-West, liberal, all in all a fair sort. What's happened, Wally? He's jumped the gun. Came to London a week before we were to see him. To see the others? Uh, smells like a sellout. He makes a deal here in London, and it all looks on the up and up. Free choice, the whole works. They're making us the big one for you, aren't they? You heard. Got my spies. I'll bet you have. You haven't asked me what I've been doing all day. No. What have you been doing? Breaking the Russian code. Did you? Mm-hmm. It's good practice. The Russian codes are too easy. That's nice. They broke ours, too. <laughs> so now we both change it, and they start breaking it all over again. And then we break theirs, and it goes on and on and on. Are you going to be recalled? Fired is a better word. If I don't solve the affair of Kaganescu. Have you got agents on it? The whole staff. They haven't turned up anything we don't know. Well, where do you want to start? The beginning again. A complete check. He's staying at the Prince Hotel. Spends most of his day with the Russian embassy. We have a part-time man there. He hasn't done us any good so far. And we'll pressure him. Won't work. Soldier, we're tied up here. It isn't like the old days, where you could come to grips with a problem, get in, get out with whatever you got. Not anymore. Now it's all done by machinery. There are no more new tricks. The game isn't much fun. Used to be. Remember how we were chased through old Vienna? I could be a travel guide for back alleys. And Yugoslavia? Two frightened secret agents, shivering in a steaming cow barn. Falling in love. Trying to stay alive the whole time. It's lovely. It was horrible. You were romantic. I was just cold. Oh, it's all in the long past, soldier. Not all. I'm still around. What do you have in mind? Marriage. Divorce the State Department and marry me. The thought has crossed my mind. Would you marry someone without a job? You could go into advertising. They always need good spies in advertising. Instead of Kaganescu's, it'd be toothpaste. No thanks. This is all I know. CIA, State, and this job. By morning, I want every agent we have on this. Soldier, it's Kaganescu or me. Mm -mm. Or us. Yes. Yes, my darling. I want to see you. I love you, too. <laughs> Alex, what was she wearing? All blue and every inch a princess. I do wish you Americans had titles. You've got enough money to be awfully elegant. That's what you think. You're coming to the party tomorrow, aren't you, Candy? Of course, you know me. I love foreign service parties. We all do. I know you do. <laughs> Who's your date for tomorrow, Marie Louise? No one. I want to be alone. Cool. Here we go again. And Lona, will you please get off that telephone? Ah, oh, my Liebling. Listen to him. He's wonderful. Come over here. You are the most lovely, charming person I've ever been. I'm so in love. Who is it this time, Ilona? Fernando, the son of the Brazilian consul. The most handsome boy in the world. Doesn't he belong to Maria Cristina? You're trying to start a war with South America. <laughs> Sounds like a man. He is. He's 20. Say goodbye, Elena. There goes the other line. Goodbye. Goodbye, my love. Hello. 
Esto lo vamos a arreglar ahora mismo. Who is this? Uh, uh, Janice. Ah, this is María Cristina. I want to talk to Ilona. What is this? Ilona, I kill her. We will all kill her. Sí, I will kill her myself too. War with South America. Ilona is trying to take over South America. You mean Fernando? Claro, claro que sí. Oh, another call. Barney, Christina. Hello. This is Natasha. I want to speak with Candy. Oh, hello, Natasha. Just one moment. Candy, Natasha, for you. Oh, hello, Natasha. I called to make you come and play tennis. Why? You always beat me. Oh, you must not mind that. It's all in the training. Soviet woman is trained to take her place side by side with a man. In my country, our place is face to face with men. They like to look at us. American humor. Very unfunny. You come and play. Can't. Sorry, Natasha. Whoops, another call. Hello? Candy? Ah, uh, yes. Hello, Candy. I've been trying to call you for the longest time. I've been on the telephone, Myling. I know. I am calling to ask you to come and visit me tonight. Uh, tonight? Well, I had other plans. Oh, well, in that case, I... Really, Myling, I'd like to come and see you, but Daddy, he doesn't think I should. I mean, when we're not at school. You see, our countries don't talk. I mean, we don't recognize you. That's for countries, not for us. Is there going to be a party? I love Chinese food. Oh, yes, but not our kind of party. My uncle is entertaining people. Oh, but there'll be lots of food. Chinese. And if you come over, I won't have to be alone. Well, I'll have to ask my father, but I'll try and come. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, you're the nicest American I'm supposed not to like. And you're the nicest girl from Red China I'm never supposed to recognize. Gosh, it sure sounds complicated. <laughs> Okay. Bye, Myling. Bye. <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, right away, sir. Here I'm in trouble. We're all in trouble. <laughs> Called. They want you right away. They've been trying to get you all morning. They've what? I'm sorry, Daddy, but a few of the girls phoned. Daddy, may I go out tonight? Oh, yes. Uh, what did they say they wanted? Uh, they didn't. I'm going to see my Ling, Daddy. Well, that's fine. Uh, now, I'll be late. Be good. My Ling's from Red China, Daddy. It is a holiday in my country. Oh, what kind? The day of the thousand blossoms. Gee, that sounds lovely. It is. The thousand blossoms were the first tractors made in the People's Republic. Oh, that's nice. I suppose you're not interested in tractors. Your country has so many. Oh, no, no. I think tractors are swell. Oh, they're lovely. May I? Of course. My uncle gives me one every month. Candy? Mm hmm Can I tell you something? Of course. I look upon you as my only real friend. Oh, my Ling. Everyone likes you at Miss Pitford's. Oh, no. Only the ones who have to like me do so. Natasha and Luba. But they don't, really. If they weren't nice to me, they'd be punished. I'm the youngest girl in school, and I come from the People's Republic of China. And sometimes the girls seem afraid to talk to me. Well, I'm not. I think you're nice, Mai Ling, and you're awful smart. That's why you're the youngest girl in school. You like me? You're an American. You're not supposed to like me. Nope. You don't even have to like me. Nope. But you do. 
That makes you my best friend, my very best. Hey, I thought you said this was a party. Come on, let's have some fun. Oh, yes. Hey, how about some music? There's a record player in Uncle Kang's study. And I have these. What are they? American imperialistic music. Oh, <laughs> come on, let's play them. <laughs> They're my heroes. I'm hungry. Oh, I took care of that. We'll send our food right up from the kitchen. We don't dance like this in my country. You don't? Oh, no. Like this. Oh, but I like this better. Well, that's more like it. <laughs> I think we can finish our discussion in here if you don't. Well, well, a party. My niece, Mai Ling, one of her friends. You'll have to excuse us, we must talk. Of course, Uncle. Oh, you are the American girl, daughter of John Hull. My niece speaks often of you, very highly. You may take the phonograph if you wish. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> Now, my dear Caganesto, we shall get down to the real business. Caganesco? Candy. Coming. some dinner. Gosh, I'm hungry, Mai Ling. So am I. The kitchen must be busy preparing for the other guests. Maybe you could, uh... Oh, yes. I'll go and get the food. Mr. Kaganescu.
I didn't know where you were. I was exploring. Perhaps you shouldn't be in this room. My uncle, he would not like it. You're right. I shouldn't be here. Yes, Uncle, very much. Yes, Mr. Kang, it's lovely. Good. Joe. I don't think I'm very hungry, my Lynn. It's my father's. It's fantastic. They must have picked this letter opener up right off this desk. Are you sure? Are you positive? That he's dead? They found his body in the Thames this morning. But if that had been in it, that corpse would be an international incident. Wally, this is the fastest work that's ever been done. Which agent is responsible? I don't know. You mean you're not saying? No, I really don't know. Last night, my concierge was awakened by the night bell. When she answered, all she found was an envelope addressed to me. It contained that and a letter. So show it to him. Kaganescu's dead, stabbed with enclosed. Legation of People's Chinese Republic, plan to blame United States. Act fast. Kitten. It's signed by something named Kitten. Who is this kitten? I told you, we don't know. The letter's clean, no prints, nothing. But I can tell you one thing. This kitten's on our side. That information checked and double-checked. All right, Wally. If that's the way you want to play it, protecting your agent's identity, it's all right with me. Just as long as you keep delivering goods like this, I wouldn't care if Khrushchev was on your payroll. And you just tell Kitten, whoever he is, keep up the good work. <laughs> to use on enemy, to cause sleep, death. Poisons to use on self, better death before betrayal. The proper aspect of the disguise. The perfect agent must assume many lives, many guises to further his mission. Each guise must become a new person, a complete personality unto itself. is such fun, especially if the agent goes to a school where all her classmates have diplomatic fathers. Then the agent is invited to all sorts of foreign embassies. And at embassies, you can hear almost anything. The agent must listen to gossip. Anything might be important. It's such a perfect setup for Kitten. The agent must always guard his methods of communications. Secrecy above everything. Trust no one.
perfect agent must be unobtrusive. He must become nearly invisible. A fine camera is the tool of the trade. It will allow the agent unquestionable evidence. The female agent must use all the powers of her sex. This is her own special advantage in the art of espionage. There are times when she must be beautiful, seductive, alluring. With these powers at her disposal, princes will bow, generals will quiver, and empires will crash. We'll have to try that. Hello, Aiko. Comment ça va? Très bien, merci. Comme tu es belle, tu as une magnifique robe. Merci. Enchanté, monsieur. Vous voulez entrer? Hello, Judy. Hello, Aria. Comment vas-tu? Oh, tu es très jolie. Merci, Aria. <laughs> Hello, George. Entrez. Candy, you are late. Hi, Aria. She looks like a swell party. Any little bits of gossip? Oh, yes. Natasha's father said. Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Wow. I've got work to do. I shouldn't be here, Candy. Don't be silly. Is your reason a boy? Mm, partly. Big part or little part? Mm, half and half. Will you teach me about boys? Well, it depends on what you already know. Oh, I don't know anything. Well, today you can watch me and learn. I will be at your side. Uh, that may be a little too close. Candy, oh, Candy. Hello, my leg. Candy, come with me. You must see him. He is so marvelous. And I'm so in love. Who? Fernando. I thought he was going steady with Maria Cristina. Not anymore. Oh, there she is. Hurry. Maria Cristina, having fun? Fun? I will kill her. She took my Fernando. I have a feeling you may get your Fernando back. Really, Candy? When? Sooner than you think. You wait here. Fernando, I wish to present my dear friend Candy's hall. This is Fernando de Torres Ivelazzo. And this is her Peter van Hagen. A pleasure. And this is my friend, Mai Ling. Charmed. How do you do? Mai Ling, perhaps you'll excuse us now. I hear the food is wonderful. Oh, yes. Ilona, that was my friend. These iron curtains, no savoir faire. And now we are alone, so romantically alone. The true art of seduction is to take that which belongs to someone else. Would you care to walk or to dance? Sure, sure, some other time. Fernando. What a lovely name. Yes, isn't it? And you've come all the way from Brazil? Yes, with my father. Yes, with his father. Wouldn't you and Peter like to dance? No. I want to talk. About Brazil. I love Brazil. 
You do? It's such a big, beautiful country. I think we should dance. I'd love to. Love to dance with you, Fernando. You would? You wouldn't. It, it wouldn't be uh, diplomatic for me to, to refuse. After all, she's... She's interested in my country. I certainly am. You, you man thief, Luda. General Panowski's passport out of England. Score one obnoxious general off the attaché list. Yeah. Failure. Two Soviet orbit missions. Italy and Greece quarreling about shipping in the Adriatic. How can Kitten be in so many places at the same time? Hey, can it be the cover name for a group? No. All written by the same person. Wally, this is amateur work. I'm sure of it. Most professional amateur I've ever seen. Soldier, I've just got to find out who Kitten is. Well, you better be saving his skin. No, more than that. Got to get in touch with him. There's a work he can do, important work. Not just by himself, but when I need him. And you need him now? Right now. Wally. Candy, what are you doing here at this hour? The party just broke up. You shouldn't be here. You know this office is off limits. Call Mike to bring around Mr. Hall's car. He'll see that you get home safely. Now, you wait right here. Have Mike bring Mr. Hall's car around, please. I need Kitten. What assignment? South America. The student question? Yeah. When the students riot, the government quite often falls. It isn't that they have any political power. It's just that students are the perfect excuse. And Kitten? Stopping the riots before they start by finding the agent who's going to start them. You want to send Kitten to South America? No, no, their agent's right here in London. We know he left the East a week ago, but who he is or what he is, we're in the dark. Kitten can find him if anybody can. Candy. She probably went up to meet Mike. Funny kid. That funny kid is almost a woman. And a woman in love. Don't tell me you're jealous. Yes, I am. But not of Candy. She and I could share our miseries. We both play second fiddle to your kitten. Well, let's get on with it. You spend too much time with boys. It's bad for tennis. I'll go back into training at Miss Pitford's. Good. Soon I will beat you only six games to two. <laughs> hey, Judy, Janet, Alex, let's play doubles. Oh, sure. Come on. Next time I'll beat her. Yes, you will. Penny, vamos chicas a jugar. Okay, vamos. Now, Alona, now, really, oh, I didn't candy. mean to... if you only knew what you have done. What have I done? Saved my life. You have made me so happy. I have? Yes. Fernando, I was mad. I was furious. So I let Peter von Hagen comfort me. And you know what? What? I love him. I didn't love Fernando after all. You have saved me from a terrible mistake. There he is. 
I promised to meet him here. He plays such a wonderful game of tennis. Candy? Yes? Who is he? Who? Him, the one who was watching. Oh, that's Lona's new boyfriend. But I know him. We went to school together in Leningrad. But you couldn't have. That's Peter von Hagen, from Holland. <laughs> ah, then it's not him. I didn't think it was. He wouldn't leave Russia. Why wouldn't your friend leave Russia? He's leader of the student party. <sighs> Poor Elona, here I go again. Hello, Elona. Candy, you remember Peter? Oh, yes. Peter. What a lovely name. Yes. Isn't it? And you've come all the way from Holland? Yes, I have. Listen, Candy, Peter and I... I want to talk with Peter about Holland. I love Holland. You do? It's such a beautiful country. Oh, no! Not again! I wanted you the minute I saw you. I was afraid. But now? Now I... Oh, Peter, we hardly know one another. And yet I feel Meet so... Meet me later. Where? At my hotel. We haven't much time. I must go back to Holland tomorrow. Your hotel? Yes. Whatever you say. So young, so lovely. Oh, Peter, you're leaving tomorrow? I must. But I know so little about you. We'll meet again. When? Soon. Peter, I don't want us to be apart. I want us to be together forever. Take me with you. I can't. But it's only to Holland. That is a million miles away for us. How would it look to run off with the daughter of the American chargé d'affaires? To whom? To my family. You are only 16. I'm a woman. That's true. Yes, that's very true. I want a drink. Of course. What? Ginger ale. miss you. And I shall miss you more than I can bear. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm thirsty. you have. In the proper hand, it will be worth quite a bit. I don't know what you mean. It has the names of many people. People who do not like your government. People who would cause trouble. That's not my concern. I'm leaving. They should be taking effect now. What? The chemicals I placed in your ginger ale. Oh, no. You didn't. They have a very interesting effect. You'll pass out. And then you will awaken. And when you do, you'll be numb all over. You won't be able to move the smallest muscle. Right the way down, it should take you exactly two and a half seconds to cover the distance. I think that now scotch is better than ginger ale. Terrible accident. <coughs> Young girl shouldn't drink. <coughs> drink or spy. I've come to turn down the bed, sir. That won't be necessary. It'll be no trouble, sir. Well, thank you just the same, but I'll be leaving tonight. I shan't be using the bed. Oh, very well. Good night, sir. Good night. Toast to you, Wally, the soldier, and the kitten, whoever he is. All right, Wally. All right, what? It's time now to level with me. Who is kitten? John, I am going to level with you. I don't know. But you must. He's doing your best work. Wally, I've been so very proud of you, and so is Washington. You're in line for promotion, but they want to know. So do I. This is no time for jokes. Um, do you think we should be talking about... Uh... Why not? Everybody else in the world is. The word's out about Kitten. I don't know how or when, but there isn't going to be a secret organization in any country that won't be trying to find him. He's been brilliant, but he's done too much and too fast. You can say that again. He's even been spying on our allies. 
Sir Granville of the Foreign Office told me he didn't feel safe in telling his wife what time he was coming home to dinner. <laughs> it's like that all over. Our friends want to borrow Kitten, our enemies want to find him. Find him and Lord knows what. Wally, the time for playing games is over. I want an answer. Who is it? I want to meet him. I want him here. I don't know. Oh, Wally, it's you. Me? Of course, it has to be. What are you trying to say? The student episode. That Peter Von Hagen. Only two people knew that we wanted to find him. You, Wally, and me. But, soldier, if it were me, I'd tell. Oh, no. That would ruin your cover. Well, the same applies to you. Me? Oh, no, it's not me. Then why not? Who would suspect you? A beautiful woman? Thanks. And uh, when would I have time for all of this? Wally, I spend 12 hours a day in that code room. Kitten has to be someone we know, but someone we're not even aware is around. Someone like... <laughs> someone like this kitten. No one pays any attention to a kitten, do they? Except to pat it on the head and forget it. What's the matter, Wally? Nothing. Just thinking. The spy, when confronted with discovery, should react with extreme cleverness. Excuse me, please. I feel ill. Now, what is going on here? Nothing. Uh, John, excuse me. Uh, Soldier and I have to get back immediately. But, but you just finished dinner. You want kitten? Absolutely. I'll need your car. It's outside. Good night, John. And uh, don't worry. You'll meet Kitten sooner than you think. Let's go. Wally, what's this all about? About a little she-cat. Mike, take Soldier back to the embassy. But, Wally... I'll see you later. Wait there for me. Go on, Mike. Where are you going? Back to school. Vacation is over. I should have known. Oh, should I have known? The cover's unbelievable. It's a natural, the dream of a lifetime. The daughter of a diplomat can go anywhere she wants. Wally, I did it for you. For me? Because I love you. Because they would have sent you home. Send me home? When your father finds out, I'll be lucky if I don't get sent to Siberia. He wouldn't do that. Oh, wouldn't he? And then Leavenworth for 20 years. Boy, I ought to turn you over and spank you till my hand falls off. Oh, Wally. Kitten. Kitten. Oh, Wally. So small, nobody would notice her. You could wander anywhere. See her. <laughs> Don't you realize what you've done? I was just trying to help. Help? Help yourself into more danger than you have any idea. What kind of a kid are you? You must have nerves of steel. No, I was scared to death. Do you know that everyone in the whole world is looking for you? And what do you think they're going to do when they find you? The same thing they did to Matahari. Oh. What am I going to do with you? Well, Wally, you could hide me. We could run off someplace together, just the two of us, alone, where no one will ever find us. Where would you suggest? Lower Transylvania? Candy. Candy, this is not a game you've been playing. This is for real. 
and there's no place to hide. I don't want to stay here any longer. I just can't. You can't rape me. Mike! Mike! What's happening? Candy! Mike! Mike, what happened? It was a setup. They knocked us off. I tried to stop them, but they took her. Took her? Soldier? Three of them. I couldn't stop Candy, my call a doctor. Soldier, wh where'd they take her? Who were they? Reds. Johnny's. Just a couple of minutes from here. Wally, why did this happen? Three guesses. Yes? Oh. Uh, Daddy, it's for you. Yes? What? Yes, I see. I see. If you harm one... Hello? You were right. They have soldier? It's very simple. They want to make a trade. Soldier for kitten. They say anything else? They don't have to. They play for keeps. Where are you going? Get her out of there. They'll kill her. I'm not going to stand around and wait for that. I love her. Then expose kitten. What? That's right. Once his cover is off, he won't be of any more use. That's all they want. No, no I can't. The agent's good, but he's not worth soldier's life. Give him up. No. What's one agent, more or less? I can't answer that. No single agent can be that important. This one is. Make the trade. The worst that can happen is the spy will be deported. You think that's the worst? John, you have no idea. Candy. Candy, where's Candy? She was just here. Oh, no. <laughs> is happening. I don't understand. I'm in trouble. I have to talk to you. Somebody's coming. <laughs> Candy, I can only stay a moment. Everything's so strange tonight. My uncle, he ordered extra guards. It's a secret meeting. I'm in trouble, Miley. You're the only one who can help me. Help you? But how, Candy? You've heard about the spy? The one they call Kitten? Oh, yes. Uncle Kang wants to meet him very much. I know. Did they bring someone here tonight? A girl? 
Why do you want to know this? Because it's very important. Oh, my Ling, you just have to tell me. A woman was brought here just a little while ago. Uncle Kang told me to go to my room, but I listened outside the door. He was very angry with this woman. Oh, it's all my fault she's here. I've got to help her before it's too late. Your fault? I don't understand. Please, please get me inside the house. Candy, I can't. It's very dangerous. My Ling, I can tell your uncle who Kitten really is. You know? Then your uncle would let the woman go. That's what he promised. It's wrong for me to do this. My uncle would not like me to cause trouble. Candy, you must go. I can't. But there is much danger. There is a special agent for my country. No one knows who he is, but he has orders. What kind of orders? To kill Kitten. Oh. They call him the spider. Oh. Oh, Myling, I'm scared. You see, you must leave. No. Myling, I have to tell you something. I have to trust you. This kitten, the real kitten, it, it's me. You? You are the spy? Truly? That explains much to me. My Ling, where are you going? You! You tried to find out things you shouldn't. I thought you were my friend. You were my friend for a reason. No, it's not true. You're like all the other girls. You never really liked me. You just pretended to like me to find out things. No, I do. It's not true. It is. It is. God's God. So you are the little American kitten with two feet and the wings of an eagle. It is difficult for me to believe you are only a child. I'm a woman, and you made a promise that if I gave myself up, you'd let Soldier go. Well, I'm here. Now you keep your word. Once the American government agent was Tiger, feared in all the jungle. Now, she is just a little pussycat. <laughs> You've done well, my Ling. You may go to your room. Joe. And now, what is to be done with the American spy, Kitten? Please, you must let Soldier go. In our own good time. But you said we you would... do what suits us. Now I must find out exactly what you know. What I know? Oh, everything. Your contacts, your codes, your methods, I... who you were working with. Come, 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 come. Tell me. I don't know. I mean, I never had any of those things. Come now, you don't expect me to believe that you did all this by yourself, for mere child? I did! The woman you called Soldier, she was your accomplice. No, nobody knew anything. I did it alone. You can't protect them. If you don't tell me, I shall have to call someone here to make you. Spider! You know about him? That's impossible. Only I know. It's true what they say. You know everything. Yes. I must turn you over to the spider. No! Yes, the spider will make you talk. Please, no! <laughs>
Charlie. All right. Give us the girl, Mr. Saunders. We know who she is. Oh, no. I want the other woman you're holding. I want her now. Of course. For her. You don't really want her, Mr. Kang. But she is kitten. Yes. But I'd think twice if I were you about turning her in. You're gonna look pretty silly delivering up a 16-year-old schoolgirl as a master spy. What do you mean? You touch her now and you'll find yourself the laughing stock of every country in the world. Just imagine, your top secrets aren't even safe from a child. That child is dangerous. You're right, she is. Turn her in, she'll put you in the lowest dungeon in Peking prison. And what's worse, they'll be laughing at you when they throw away the key. She must be disposed of. Disposed? You're carrying this joke too far even for prison. Now you're asking Peking for 12 bullets and one black bandage. Kang, this is a child, the daughter of a diplomat. Whatever she's done has no official sanction. Do you understand? She did it on her own. I did, I did! What are you trying to say? You keep quiet. We'll keep quiet. And her? There will be no more heard from Kitten. Kitten will disappear. Why? And get a good spanking to boot. Bring in the other woman. You've been a most foolish child. I'm sorry. Wally, it's about time you got me away from this goon squad. Candy, what are you doing here? We'll explain it all later. Right now, I think we've overextended Mr. Kang's hospitality. Do not forget our deal, Mr. Saunders. Kitten will never be heard of again. And the spanking, administer it with vigor. I definitely shall. Yes, Uncle Kang? Where is the doll, the little doll that was on my desk? Tell me quickly. I threw it out the window. What? To Candy before you found her. She has it! I told you never to touch the doll until I was ready to give it to you! What a disgrace to the Chinese People's Republic! You will return to school as planned tomorrow with the others and do exactly as I tell you. But I warn you that not even obedience will wipe out the guilt if what is in that doll is discovered. Now leave. A thousand flowers bloom, Spider. Daughter of the American Charge d'Affaires is kitten. She must be killed immediately. Welcome back, young ladies. Thank you, Miss Pickford. Did you enjoy your holiday? Yes, yes Miss Pickford. That's fine. Now inside, ready, march. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Your rooms are ready and Latin tomorrow for everybody. 
I hope Miss Pitford doesn't start Latin tomorrow. And I'm so tired. And no more boys. Yes. yes. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Good night Candy. <laughs> Oh, it's you, Candy. Ludwig, I need the keys to the bus. I have to get to town immediately. Uh, but it is so late. It's a matter of life or death. Ah, so then I give you the keys. Maybe I drive you myself. Oh, there was something else, Candy. Today there was a man asking. <laughs> Ah, well. 
gods to help you, no matter what you did. I am your friend. Oh, my lane. I've got to get away. How? The bus. I've got the keys to the bus. He's on his way. When he heard you were in trouble, he sent me ahead. Come on, I have a car. Candy, do you have the microfilm? How did you know about the microfilm? Wally found Spider. That's why I'm here ahead of him. He found him? Nobody's cover's perfect, not even Spider. Wally's on his way now. And that's why I must act quickly. You're Spider. It isn't easy to work for both sides. Sometimes you have to make a choice. My orders were to destroy Kitten. You've got four minutes. Uncle Kang and I, we are both to return to China. They're sending me home, too. Candy? Yes? We were friends. The best friends. Then perhaps we'll meet again, Mai Ling. We'll all meet again. school in Washington, one where all the diplomats' daughters go. Well, it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Uh, oh, no, 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 a absolutely no, never. No, absolutely no, never.